Chapter on cupping, letting out blood medically, and vomiting of a person observing slow. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. If a person observing slow, fast, vomits, that does not break his slow. For while he vomits, he expels something and does not swallow anything. It is mentioned from Abu Huraira that vomiting breaks the slow. But the former narration is more authentic. Ibn Abbas and Ikrama said, Observing slow means to stop taking food in, not taking it out. And Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, used to be cupped while he was observing slow. But later on, he abandoned it and began to be cupped at night. Abu Musa was cupped at night. It is narrated that Sa'ad, Zayd bin Arqam, and Umm Salama were cupped while observing slow. Bukair said, Umm al said, We used to be cupped during observing slow in Aisha's presence, and she did not object. al Hasan and others narrate on the authority of the Prophet, peace be upon him. The cupping and the cupped person break slow on practicing this operation while slow. Aisha told me, Al Bukhari, that Abdul A'la narrated from Yunus, from Al Hasan, as above. Somebody asked him, Was that statement reported from the Prophet, peace be upon him? He replied, Yes, and then added, Allah knows better. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was cupped while he was in the state of Ihram, and also while he was observing a slum. Footnote, Hadith number 1938 contradicts with Hadith of al Hasan. Apparently, the Muslim jurists have given various interpretations to discard this contradiction. A shafir says, both Hadith are correct, but the one narrated by Ibn Abbas is stronger as regards its series of narrators. Yet, it is better to avoid cupping while observing slow. But the verdict is to be taken from the Hadith of Ibn Abbas. I have the knowledge that the Prophet's companions and their followers and all Muslim scholars think that cupping does not break one's slum. Ibn Hazm thinks that al Hasan's Hadith is invalidated by another authentic Hadith narrated by Abu Sa'id, which goes, The Prophet, peace be upon him, permitted cupping for person, observing slum. Fath al-Bari Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was cupped while he was observing slum. Narrated Thabit al-Bunani, Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, was asked whether they disliked the cupping for a person observing slum. He replied in the negative, and said, only if it causes weakness. Narrated Shurbah, in the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him, 